Know your worth. Once upon a time, in a little town, there lived a young man by the name of Alan. Alan was a hard-working guy and put all his heart and soul into his work at the shoe company, where he had been an employee for the last five years. But his hard work and dedication was never appreciated. No matter how hard he tried, he was always made to feel that he wasn't giving his best. Alan, the designs for the new collection of children's shoes, are they ready? I, I'm working on them. What? Still working on them? I needed it an hour ago. But you gave me the project just two hours ago. So? An hour is not enough? They are children's shoes. How long can it take? Um, just give me a few more hours. I will finish it. Ugh, I am just tired of your laziness, Alan. You have one hour. Finish it and bring it to my desk. But... Hmm? Ah, <sighs> sure. Hey, Alan. You coming for lunch? Um, no. You guys go ahead. I need to finish this. All right. Mr. Logan, I have the designs ready for you. What designs? For the children's shoes. Ah, you know what? I just spoke with Kathy from marketing, and she feels we are better off releasing the women's collection first. Oh. Yes, design the best in trending shoes in the market right now and give it to me in an hour. An hour? Is there a problem, Alan? No, no, Mr. Logan, absolutely not. Good. And what about these designs? Forget them. Throw them into the bin. I don't care. I don't need them anymore. <sighs> yes, that's how poor Alan was undervalued at work. He worked till late while all his colleagues would leave. And just when he would think that he was done for the day, he would find himself handed over with more work. Alan? Good. You're still here. Mr. Logan, did you like the women's collection? Um, they were not great, but that's not what I want to talk about right now. Where are the children's shoes designs? Those? Those I discarded because you said, Oh, Alan, Alan, Alan! You know I hate excuses. I need the designs finished and on my desk before I reach office tomorrow. Apparently our competitors are releasing a children's collection. We need to hit the stores before they do. Understood? Yes, Mr. Logan. Sure. Good. Now, if you will excuse me, I am running late for a party. Bye, Mr. Excuse Man. <laughs> Alan stayed at work till very late that night, just like most of the other nights. <sighs> On his way back home, he ate the cold sandwich that he had brought for lunch. It's okay, Alan. It's all worth it. They are going to announce the employee of the year tomorrow, and I am sure it will be you. Alan lived with his mother in a small apartment, and life was not very easy for them. <coughs> Alan, is it you? Yes, mother. I am sorry I'm late again. I will cook something for you quickly. Here you go, mother. I will get your medicine. <coughs> the landlord had come again. He needs the last three months' rent else we will have to vacate the house. Oh, don't worry, Mother. I am sure I will get the promotion tomorrow, and then our life will be better. <coughs> oh, you work so hard, son. I hope you get what you deserve. 
that night, Alan went to bed with hope that the following morning will bring joy into his life. The next day, Alan went to work with a bright smile on his face, very confident that the Employee of the Year trophy was going to be his. Attention, people! As you all know, it is time to announce our Employee of the Year, and we all know who that is. The person not only showed sheer excellence, dedication, and discipline, but also went out of their way to get the right things done. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Employee of the Year, Miss Kathy from Marketing. Yay! Yeah, we Woo! don't get yeah! Woo! What? Congrats, Congrats Kathy! Kathy! We Woo! Woo, Kathy! Alan stood there frozen as the world around him stretched and contracted. His eyes glistened as he watched everyone congratulate Kathy, who had joined the company only six months ago. That's... that's not fair. But I'm happy for her. <laughs> Alan walked about the road aimlessly, lost in his thoughts. The piled up and pending rent, the money for his mother's treatment, the unrecognition for his hard work, all began to press down on his mind. Hey, that's my rock. Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't realize, um, I'll get it. Here, apologies. Ah, thank God its curves did not get chipped off. Oh, my precious. Um, don't mind me asking, but what's so special about this ordinary piece of rock? Ordinary, son? Nothing in this world is ordinary. Everything has its own unique value, if you put it in the right place. Um, I don't understand. Hmm, okay. Take this rock and go to that stationery store over there and ask them how much they would pay for it. Just find the value and come back. Um, okay. Alan went to the store and returned after some time. Fifty cents! That's how much they would pay. All right. Now see that ornamentation store over there? Go there and ask for its value. Alan nodded and went to the store. He returned after some time. Five dollars! That's how much they would pay. Mmm, all right. Now... Go to that museum over there and ask them how much they would pay for it. Confused, Alan nodded and went to the museum. My goodness! This isn't an ordinary rock, sir. It is a lunar meteorite. Um, okay? I will pay you. What did they say? They... they said... fifty thousand dollars! Mmm... not so ordinary now, eh? <laughs> it's... it's staggering to know that something worth fifty thousand dollars is only worth fifty cents at the paperweight store and five dollars at the ornamentation store. Exactly. We people are also just like this piece of rock. We are all extraordinary in our own ordinary ways. All that matters is where we decide to place ourselves. I want to let you know, Alan, that the right place values your value in the right way. Don't put yourself in the wrong place and get sad and dejected when they don't value you. Rest, you know what to do. Use it well. Hey! But this is... Wait! How did you know my name? Hallelujah! 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 What? Where did he go? Alan looked around for the old man, but he was nowhere to be found. <gasps> and at that moment, a breeze of air as soft as silk wafted his face 
and Alan stood up with resolute indetermination writ large on his face for the first time that day. He put the rock in his pocket and went to his office. Oh no, he didn't go back to work there. He went there to get his back and tell Mr. Logan that he wasn't going to work there anymore. Wait, but hey! Alan found a new job at another shoe company, which did not only value his skills, but also respected him as a person. He cleared all his dues and kept a nurse for his mother to take care of her at all times. Now, Alan was not just happy, but content as well, because he finally learnt his worth and was at a place where everyone else did too. And as for the piece of rock, Alan kept it with him always as a reminder of the man who had taught him a great lesson. The right place values your value in the right way. <laughs>